Well, hi again. Uh, I need some more advice, please. Um, I've just tried uh, the Hornby Suspension Bridge uh, in situ without one of the centre sections, which you can see there. Um, if I put it in, um, it, it appears to be way too long. So I think I've tried to design it um, without one of the two centre pieces. Um, one of the two centre beds. Um, the advice I need, if I do that, that's roughly where one of the, the, the tracks are going to be. That curve there, when it comes around, does it look as if the train won't be able to straighten up in time and it'll hit that upright? Um, I think taking the ends out, you just have to centre, it looks silly. Um, if you think it will, if a look, does that look as if the train won't have time to straighten up and it may hit that pillar? Um, but it'll, it's, it's roughly where it uh, will be, but it'll be about there, obviously. Um, and there'll be another track going behind, which uh, doesn't matter. It's whether or not the train has time to straighten up. Um, I'm not sure whether it will, and it'll hit the pillar. If, it, if you think it will, what I'll have to do is sell the Hornby suspension bridge. It's brand new. Um, if anyone's interested, I'm buying another. It's been round. Well, things fashioned down at the moment. Another Metcalf bridge, uh, stroke tunnel, different to that. Um, and use that instead of the um, Hornby Suspension Bridge. What do you think? Do you think it will hit the... Excuse me a second while I come round. Do you think a train coming round that corner will hit that? Um, any advice would very much appreciate it. Thanks very much.